Hey guys, Subtentboff here, and I'm here with another Xgo tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can send a tweet from your iOS 5 applications. Now this tutorial will work for all iPhone, iPod Touch and iPad applications, but it is limited to iOS 5 only. So we're basically going to be implementing the Twitter framework which Apple have provided in iOS 5 and above. So we're going to start by adding a single or starting a single view application. I'm going to call it Tweet. Save it wherever you want. I'm going to save on the desktop. That's good. Let's open this up. Now the first thing we need to do is to implement the Twitter framework. So click on your uh, Xcode project here and you'll get a new menu popping up here. Scroll down to the bottom and you'll see there's a little section which says linked frameworks and libraries. Click the plus button search for Twitter, there we go, we should find it here under iOS 5, add that in, there we go, so we've imp imported the twitter.framework file, now come into your viewcontroller.h file, so what we're going to do is import the Twitter framework and then add a button which uses the Twitter framework to open up the tweet sheet, right, very simple, so underneath where it says import uikit forward slash uikit.h, we're going to type in import space small down sign twitter forward slash twitter dot h bigger than sign save that very simple now where it says ui view controller we're going to open and close two curly brackets and underneath the closing curly bracket we're going to type in an ib action so ib action and now give your ib action a name so i'm going to call mine tweet button semicolon save. Now copy your IB action into your viewcontroller.m file or the implementation file. So that's the .m file. Copy this here and open and delete the semicolon and open and close two curly brackets. And now in between the two curly brackets type in the following code. So tw tweet compose view controller space star tweet sheet space equals space and open two square brackets tw tweet compose view controller space a lock close one square brackets type in a space and now type in init close square brackets semicolon now come down the line now open a square bracket tweet sheet space set initial text now put in an at sign and open and close two quotation marks then after the closing quotation marks, simply close your square bracket and type in the semicolon. Save that. Now in between these two quotation marks is the defined message which would come up in the tweet sheet. And now we can set this to whatever we want. So we can even leave, leave it for the user to type in whatever, whatever they want. But in most cases, as a developer, you might want to just add your own little message. So I'm just going to put, hello, this is a test, right? Save that. That was very simple. Now we're going to come down the line, type in a square bracket, and now type in self space present modal view controller, type in tweet sheet, and animated we're going to set to yes, close the square bracket, type in semicolon, save that, right? Very simple, right? I mean, isn't this very simple? Just three lines of code, and we can simply open up a tweet sheet which says the message, hello, this is a test. So we've imported the Twitter framework, we've set up our IB action, now all we need to do is link our code to our interface. So come into your viewcontroller.xib file, we're simply going to drag and drop a round rep button into the middle here, I'm going to simply type in the little text saying tweet me, save that. Now click your files owner, which is this button here, and make sure you've got the uh, connections tab open. And we're going to simply connect our tweet button received action to our tweet me a round rec button. A menu will now pop up, and we're simply going to select touch up inside. Save that. Now we are done in the code, and we have linked up our code to our interface, and we've done everything correctly. So let's build and run, and this should work perfectly. There we go, we've got no errors whatsoever. And if we just wait for the iOS simulator to load, 
should load up for with, with our message. So there we go, here's the app. If we click the button, boom, pops up a little tweet sheet which says, hello, this is a test. Now, how simple was that? Just a few lines of code, import one Twitter framework, and we can send tweets within our app, right? It's so easy to use. Now this tutorial works on all iPhones, iPod Touch and iPad devices running iOS 5 and higher. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.